I just thought that whenever I try to do anything, the battery's always fucking dying. Oh my god. Ugh. I thought I'd be better freestyling this, but apparently not. Where are my notes? I'm back. No one wants me to be back, but I'm back. Hi, friends. So today's video is a little bit different than most, I would say. A lot has been going on in the world lately. I am in a new location due to all of that. I am no longer in my dorm room. What happened in here? I first want to start the video off saying that I hope you and your families are all safe and well in your home social distancing like i hope everyone is doing well and doing okay and miss this entire unique time anyways i had a lot of trouble thinking about how i was gonna film this or why i was gonna film this video and a lot of it had to do with the fact that i was really bummed out that school was over like as soon as we were told we don't have to go to class anymore i got really unmotivated i didn't even want to get up most days i didn't want to create i didn't want to work out i didn't want to do literally anything that's why i decided to film this is because if you're going through the same thing please don't let this time just completely depress you like i know being inside is really tough for a lot of us and a lot of us don't spend a lot of time inside so i just wanted to say that if you can benefit from this video, then that's why I've made it. Ew. My semester started literally Labor Day. That's the first memory I have of this year. And I was at Kitsilano Beach with my closest friends and we were just messing around like we always are. Okay, photo. My semester started like this. One, two, three. And it ended like this. <laughs> Cheers to that! All because of coronavirus! So when this whole thing kind of started going down, I definitely didn't think school was gonna get shut down. I definitely didn't think that I'd be moving out of my dorm room early. I did not think any of that was gonna happen. When I was told to come home, the first thing I thought was, well, how is this gonna affect me? And everyone was literally in the same position that I was. Nobody really knew what was going on. None of us do. And even now, like it's kind of all still up in the air. So I was really worried that I was gonna lose my desire to create. I knew that I needed to make this video for anyone who really honestly felt the same way. If they felt like they were trapped inside, that they were like freaking Rapunzel and they couldn't leave because of the evil witch coronavirus. <laughs> I'm going nuts. So I decided to go film a video around my school. There goes my script. I was walking around and I honestly got really inspired. Even though I didn't see anyone, it honestly made me even more inspired to go create this video and show other people that even though we complain so much about school, the thing is is that we spend such a small fraction of our life there that one day it's gonna be all over. These are really significant parts of your life and these are the parts that we also take for granted because we're like, oh, oh fuck school. I really realized how much I took for granted going to school and how much I missed it when it's gone. A part of me feels like I need to be going to school to be also really creative. I don't feel creative when I have no schedule and that's why I got really worried when I had to move home because I just felt like, holy shit, it's game over for me. This is the end of everything I've ever done and everything I've ever put my name to. But it's not, it is not. And it's not the end for you either. We're gonna get through this. So I walked and I walked and I walked around campus. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> and I took my camera and I took my microphone and I just kept walking. Man, literally filming the last three clips, I'm fucking sweating. Here we go. I created, obviously, as I went along the way, and believe me, I sanitized my hands many, many times. And as I walked around, I realized how sad I was going to be when I left that place. It's barely fucking 6 p.m. and I am sweating. Before my third year of university, I promised myself that I was going to finally buckle down on myself, and start shooting videos because that's what I've always wanted to do and here I am. So what are we doing today, Gary? Hello everyone, today I am filming with RJ. Hello everyone, we are cooking Thanksgiving dinner today. Just say hi Gary. Raz and Shai. Howdy. Hello everyone. Hi. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi friends. Oh my god, hello. Hello. Hi friends. Hello friends. Hi friends. Hi. Hello. Whoa. Hi friends. So I think that's what the 
toughest part for me was letting go of third year early because this is really the year that I really kind of committed to myself and committed to the things that I wanted to do. And I guess a part of me felt that because I started creating when I was going to school, I felt like I needed that environment to continue to be creative. And the more that I walked and walked, I realized that it really wasn't true. I filmed my first video clips the day I moved in. Hi, hello, welcome. Greeting. Yum. Um, Today we going in their next baby. And my first edited video was shot on campus. Hi! We don't know her anymore. Hi guys. Among, honestly, basically the rest. What's up? So so we? Fine. It's fine. It's really fine. There was a grease fire. You know. Capish. Stay tuned. Yeah. Let's go make a mood board. She wasn't ready. It's fine. I can hear the ghosts of the past students. Love is blind. Happy Valentine's Day. This is our Valentine's Day special. Hello. As I started moving out and taking all my decorations down, I started thinking about the first time that I put them up. Or when I cleaned out my kitchen cabinet, I found my thermometer. The only time I ever used that thermometer was for Thanksgiving. What temperature does the turkey have to be? <laughs> Everyone's getting fucking food poisoning. Now I'm telling you, I spent a lot of time walking. Like I was out there for three or four hours walking around. Mind you, I was actively sanitizing. We'll do it together now. We will do it together. Oh no. What I found through my hours outside was that it was the people I surrounded myself with and it was the attitude I had about creating that kept me doing what I love to do. And then it hit me. I realized that throughout my walk around the school that I could be creative without having that place by my side. I didn't need a place to be creative. I didn't need the city. I didn't need my school. I just needed myself to be creative in all honesty. We made it just in time for sunset. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Oh my god. It's raining. It's pouring. The world's being taken over by COVID-19. So I feel like that's why I came out here tonight because I don't know, I feel like I'm in a state where I don't know things anymore, where I don't I don't know what's gonna happen next. Like for me anyways, I feel like it's funny that I needed a virus to show me that I might not have tomorrow. Also, I see someone in a window cleaning the window and I'm really freaked out that they're gonna call security on me. It's just sad that we need a virus to show us that we might not get tomorrow, that we should honestly be living like we might not have a tomorrow. I have to go. People are, there is someone looking at me. I gotta go. I feel like I'm gonna get fucking crack busted. I gotta go. This isn't exactly my best safety mission. <clears throat> so I want to personally thank everyone who supported me and the making of this channel and kept pushing me to keep creating even on the days where I didn't want to be creative. And I know that this year might have not gone to plan, but that doesn't mean it still can't. What I had to kind of remind myself is that 2020 really isn't over. It's only really just begun and there will be a day where this passes and We'll just sit here and be like, oh, I can't remember in 2020 when COVID happened. <laughs> I just don't want you to regret sitting inside moping about the things that you wished you were doing outside. And please, please stay safe and be kind to one another. And I just really personally want to reach out and thank everyone who was a part of my third year of university and everyone who made it so special. The people who walked in and the people who walked out. Thank you so much. You really made this year really special for me, so don't you forget that. And lastly, I just want to remind everyone that don't let anything or anyone ever define how you create. And that you're not alone. We're all going through this. It's a unique time. 
I'm gonna go film TikToks now, but this was a nice chat. Thanks for coming. Like I said, please, please stay safe. Stay safe with your family, stay safe with yourself. Stay, stay safe, safe with your pets, pets and your goldfish and your cats and your dogs. Please, please wash your hands, stay healthy and stay creative. I'm gonna keep creating videos. As much as you hate them or love them, I'm still be here. If you're interested in following me on any other media, all my links will be down below. Please, please follow me on TikTok. Please, please, I'm begging you. Comment, like, subscribe, bye.